Yeah, I'm Nick Earls. I'm a writer on the writer's train and uh, I was also on the previous writer's train that went along this track 19 years and for me 13 books ago. It was my first chance to to do anything in the company of some really big name authors like Tim Winton, Thea Astley, Tom Keneally, Rodney Hall, amazing lineup of writers heading west along this line in 1990 and I had the chance to join them as someone who was not yet published. On the first train uh, when we travelled our events we, we would actually stop, we could stop during the day more because it was just our little rail motor uh, and very little traffic on the, the train line so uh, we would stop during the day and do whistle stops and visit schools as well as do a night time event in the town that we finished up in. And uh, there was actually one time when we were flying along at high speed on a very straight stretch of track, much of this of course is straight, uh, and we shot past this little township called Amby, which was not on our schedule at all. And as we flew past, we just glimpsed out the window uh, a teacher and six kids by the side of the track waving and so because it was our train uh, we could put the brakes on and somewhere just over the horizon actually stop and back up along the line and they'd all gone back into school then but the school was right next to the train track it was a one teacher school with six kids so then 12 authors went in and outnumbered the kids two to one and we spent a nice hour uh, with the kids of Amby State School before getting back on the train this time you've got all the Q150 stuff going on so when the, there isn't that flexibility but the welcomes are huge uh, and the welcomes were, were big last time but this time there's there's all the flags and there's all the, the Q150 stuff going on. Last time with our nighttime events uh, we tended to read and this time we're doing a kind of panel session where Kate Eltham from the Queensland Writers' Centre, who's been a big part of making this thing work out well, uh, where Kate kind of emcees it and draws out stories from the three of us about our writing careers and how we got where we are and how we put a book together. So it's a much more practical session and I think there are more people coming along now with an interest in writing themselves, some of whom are already professional authors, uh, but many of whom are not. So it's designed to be a kind of industry related session as well this time. So it works rather differently to, to a nighttime thing with, uh, with readings. I think it's been great to do this because it's been an opportunity for us as writers to meet some of the people who read our books uh, and an opportunity for them to meet us uh, but also beyond that a, a chance for people who don't necessarily meet a lot of living authors which is what happened when I was at school I mean that happened pretty much everywhere in those days this is a chance to see that there are authors living and writing in your state right now and that it's actually a normal thing to do uh, it's also a good opportunity for us to meet and engage with people who are out here and are writing and who are telling the stories of these towns uh, because what we're seeing more and more is regional voices coming through now like um, Karen Foxley's The Anatomy of Wings, a book set in Mount Isa and, and I hope we'll see more stories coming out of places like um, Chinchilla and Roma and Charleville in the years to come. There's certainly the talent here to do it. For me personally it's been great to revisit something that I was part of 19 years ago before this all really started for me and you know if they do another one in 19 years I'd be very happy if they called me again.